Hi guys, welcome. I'm Helen, this is a 45 minute fun power flow all about focus. So if you're anything like me these days, you find yourself constantly distracted, walking into a room, not sure why you went in there, looking on your phone and just scrolling through. This practice is gonna help hopefully build that sense of concentration, focus on all levels from our drishti, where we're putting our gaze in our balancing poses to where our mind is, where our attention is in our other poses. And we will get started today standing at the top of your mat. So when you're ready, you can find your way there. Take a moment as you arrive to shift a little bit forward and back, side to side, maybe even take a walk on your mat. And then when you're ready, allow for a sense of stillness. Close your eyes. And just start to notice where your mind is, where your attention or focus is right now. Without judging or labeling, give yourself permission to put anything on pause that you need to rest, to let go of for the next 45 minutes that we have together. And begin to shift your awareness to your breath. Lengthen and deepen each breath in and each breath out. If you like, you can turn on ujjayi breath in and out through your nose, a slight constriction in the back of your throat and a slight pause at the top of your inhale and bottom of your exhale. We use our breath to connect body and mind to make this practice more than just the physical, but also to give us something to focus on, something to come back to when you find yourself wandering or when you're not sure what to pay attention to, know that you can always come back to your breath. If you have a specific dedication, intention, mantra that you'd like to set for your practice, this is a good time to bring that to your awareness. Breathe it in. Exhale, send it out into the world. One more round of breath right here. If your eyes are closed, blink them open. Reach your arms to the sky, full inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. We'll take that twice more. Inhale, reach out and up to the sky. Find space through your sides. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more, breathe in. And breathe out. Reach your arms overhead, big inhale. Open arm twist to your right as you exhale. Right hand reaches back, left arm reaches forward. We'll hold here for a full breath in and out. Draw your right hip forward so your hips are even. Reach long through your fingers and send your awareness into your fingertips, your focus into the tips of your fingers. Back to center, breathe in. Take that to the other side as you exhale. Left hand back, right arm forward. Same thing, even out your hips. Reach through your fingertips, send energy, attention there. And then back to center, breathe in. Cactus your arms as you exhale, bend your elbows, lift your heart. Inhale, reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, engage your core. Feel free to bend your knees, relax your head and neck when you reach down to your forward fold. Lift halfway, inhale, long spine. Exhale, hands down, step back, high plank upper push up or tabletop with your knees down, you decide. Take a breath in, little shift forward and lower slowly to your belly as you exhale. Fingertips come wide off your mat, tent your palms, elbows point up and back. Lift your heart, little cobra variation. Exhale, lower yourself back down. And we'll take that twice more. Inhale, lift, shoulders slide down away from your ears. Doesn't have to be super high. Exhale to lower. Once more, breathe in. This time, hold it at the top. As you exhale, dip one shoulder in, look over the opposite shoulder, back to center, and then to the other side. One more little twist in each direction. Inhale to lift. Exhale, little dip and twist. Back to center, breathe in. And to the other side. Inhale through center. Exhale, lower down. Place your hands right below your shoulders and press to child's pose. Hips to heels. Knees can be wider together, forehead to your mat, and hands wherever they feel good. 
Give yourself a moment here, come back to the awareness of your focus, where your attention is, and maybe send your attention into your upper back. Feel a sense of expansion with each breath in. Feel a sense of letting go with each breath out. Next inhale, walk your hands over to your right. Maybe they come off your mat. Maybe left hand stacks on top of right. Send your left, left hip back and breathe space into your left side. Move through center. Inhale to the other side. Exhale, right hip gently draws back. Breathe here. Come back to center. Lift to tabletop, hands and knees. Spread your fingertips wide. Stack your shoulders above your wrists, hips right above your knees. Inhale to a cow pose. Lift your tailbone, drop your belly, send your heart forward. Hug your shoulder blades together down your back. Exhale to cat, press the ground away. Scoop round, chin to chest. Twice more, breathe in, drop your belly, lengthen your spine. Breathe out, press the ground away. Create a sense of stretch through your backside. One more, inhale. And exhale. Come back to neutral. Shift your weight into your right hand and your right knee. I like to pivot my foot to the side. We'll take a supported side plank, left arm to the sky. So option when you stay right here, if you wanna challenge your balance a, a little bit more already, you can lift your left foot, maybe extend your left arm in front of you, and then notice where your gaze is, your drishti or your focus, not just with your eyes, but also with your awareness, your intention and attention. For me, it helps to draw awareness to my core, to keep my eyes grounded and steady, so I'm not moving my face, moving my gaze, moving my attention. And of course, to breathe. One more inhale. And then exhale to the other side. Shift your weight left. Feel free to set this up however makes sense for you, whatever feels good for you. You can always take regular side plank. Maybe float your foot, extend your arm. And then same thing, find where you'd like to draw your awareness to, your attention, your focus, to stay a little bit more present, a little bit more concentrated on this shape and in this moment. One more inhale. Exhale, release. Make your way to downward facing dog. If you don't love downward facing dog, you can take another child's pose, you can stay in tabletop, you can always bend your knees a ton chest to thighs, keep your hips really, th really high, so you're thinking of lengthening your spine more than anything else. And the power for today's fun power flow will come from some longer holds, and the fun will come from falling out of shapes, allowing yourself to be challenged, and taking everything with a sense of lightness, maybe a sense of humor. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward to your hands. Exhale, step, hop, floats to the top of your mat. Take your time to a forward fold. Lift halfway, breathe in when you arrive, no rush. Shoulders slide down your back. Exhale, fold, relax your head and neck. Rise to standing, arms sweep high, big breath in. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. One more sun salute, A or variation of. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, open arm twist right, right hand back, left arm forward. Come back to center, breathe in. Take it to your left as you exhale, left hand back, right arm forward. Back to center, inhale. Cactus your arms, exhale, gently press your hips forward, strong core. Lift arms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, breathe in. Your transition to down dog or child's pose. You can step back, move to tabletop. You can move through high plank, chaturanga halfway or all the way to your belly. Up dog or cobra, lift your heart. If you're in up dog thighs, lift. Downward facing dog or whatever pose you've decided to take as you exhale. So a sometimes cheesy thing that I feel like yoga teachers say but is so true is energy flows where attention goes. So think about where your attention is. If you're focused on the negative, if you're focused on the things that don't feel great, that are bugging you, they're only gonna feel bigger. So maybe focus on the things that are working, the things that bring joy, that bring lightness, or the things that you wanna manifest or make work in your life. Bend your knees, breathe in, look forward. 
Step, hop, float to your hands. Exhale. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, release. Stand up, reach high, full breath in. Palms together in front of your heart, exhale. Inhale to chair pose. Sit nice and low. Hands wherever you like them. They can always come a little bit lower or come to a cactus shape. Peek down, make sure you can see all 10 toes. If not, bring more weight into your heels. Lift your low belly, relax your shoulders. And then notice where you want your mind to be. Where is your attention? For the physical gazing point, I like it kind of down, a little bit more grounding, so I remember to root down. You might prefer a little bit more up, a little bit more uplifting. Maybe for your mental focus, or what we call concentration, or dharana, one of the eight limbs of yoga. You can think about your intention. You can think about something that makes you happy in this pose that maybe is a little bit challenging. So you don't focus on what doesn't feel great. Can you focus on something that does feel amazing? We'll take one more inhale. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, hands to the ground. If you've got blocks or water bottle, you might bring them there. Right leg reaches back. So a supported warrior three, your leg doesn't have to be super high and your left knee can always be bent. Imagine pressing back through your right heel and engaging your right glutes to lift. Engage your low belly, lengthen your spine. Maybe this is plenty, I'm gonna hang out here. Maybe you work into warrior three, hands to heart, and start to lift your chest. Breathe, full steady breaths, three full rounds. You've got one more, notice where your mind is. Take just an inhale. As you exhale, step back, we're gonna open to warrior two. Right heel pivots flat, arms cartwheel open so they're in a T at shoulder height. And then peek down, front heel in line with your back heel or arch. Back toes to the long edge or slightly forward. Maybe you can go a little deeper in your legs. Find that intensity that forces you to concentrate, forces you to focus on what's happening right now versus what happened earlier, what's happening later today. Practice that presence, that focus in the moment. And you probably guessed that we're gonna hold here for a good three rounds of breath. Make them loud and strong. Keep your legs the same. Inhale, reverse warrior, left arm up and back to the sky behind you. Right hand can slide down your right leg or wrap behind your back. Continue to breathe. If you lost that bend, come back to it. One more inhale. And then exhale, side angle. Forearm to your thigh, right arm to the sky. If you like an extended side angle, right arm above your head, try and get light on your left forearm so you're not collapsing all your weight there. And then my focus for this is thinking of a long line of energy from the outer edge of my back foot all the way through my top arm, through my fingertips, so along my right side body. Can you extend a little bit more? Find a little bit more lift? a little bit more strength to create lightness and breathe a little bit louder. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down. Frame your front foot. Take it up and back, three-legged dog. Breathe in. Knee to nose as you exhale. Shift forward, round through your upper back. Twice more inhale, leg high, three-legged dog. Exhale, knee to nose, body comes into a plank. One more, breathe in and breathe out. Hold to your inhale. Exhale, place your left foot between your hands or as far as it'll go. Breathe in, look forward. Step your right foot up to meet your left, exhale. Lift halfway, inhale. Fold, exhale. Rise to standing all the way up, inhale. Palms together in front of your heart as you exhale. Right back into that nice deep chair pose, Utkatasana. Take some time, notice what you can adjust to create more stability, to create more of a sense of ease. And of course, pay attention to where your focus is, your drishti, your physical gaze, as well as your internal awareness and attention. And then either stay, or this time if you like, take it to Drinking Bird, lift your heels, fold your hands back. 
Try to keep your heart open, whatever you've chosen, whatever your arms are. Maybe you can send your hips a little lower. Engage your low belly a little bit more. Breathe here. One more inhale. Exhale, forward folds. Relax your head and neck. Lift halfway, breathe in. Exhale, hands down to the ground. I come onto my fingertips. Left leg reaches back for that supported warrior three. Imagine both hip bones pointing down, so we're setting up the muscle memory, building strength and stability here this first time through. Active through your back leg. And this time you might think of lengthening through the crown of your head, feeling extension through your entire body. Stay, or if you played last time and you want to take hands to heart and lift, you can. I like to stay a little bit more grounded, closer to the ground. Two more full rounds of breath. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, step back, open to warrior two. Same thing as always, peek down, make your adjustment settle in. Maybe you can find a little bit more depth of focus, of awareness, a little bit more attention to what's happening physically, mentally, energetically with your breath. And always, at least for me, the reminder of coming back to it's all good, whatever it is. One more breath here. Keep your legs the same. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach up and back. Exhale, stay, maybe re-bend into your right knee. One more deep breath in. Exhale, side angle or extended side angle, right forearm to your thigh, left arm to the sky. You can always take your right hand inside or outside your foot. Maybe left arm extends over your head. Rotate your heart open, feel that long line of energy outer edge of your back foot all the way through your left side and then lightness in your right arm so you're engaged through your obliques. Breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands, frame your front foot, three-legged dog, right leg floats up and back. Big breath in, knee to nose, exhale, shift forward, round. Twice more, breathe in, shift it forward. One more, three-legged dog, inhale, exhale, knee to nose, hold, take a big breath in. Exhale, step your foot between your hands or as far as it'll go. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step your left foot up to meet your right. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Rise to standing, sweep up. Palms together in front of your heart, exhale. Right back into your chair pose, inhale, Udkatasana. Exhale, open arm twist in chair, right hand back, left arm forward. Full breath in and out, even out your knees and hips, sit a little deeper. Through center, breathe in. Same thing to your left. Left hand back, right arm forward. Deep breath in and out. Inhale through center, stand tall. Little back bend maybe. Exhale, hands to your heart, weight into your left foot. Draw your right knee up, breathe in. Steady your gaze on something that's not moving. Exhale, open it out to the side. Inhale, bring it back to center. It's okay if you wobble. Exhale, open to the side. Once more, breathe in and breathe out. We're gonna take this to tree. Maybe your foot goes to your leg. Maybe you need your hand. Maybe you find your toes back on the ground, foot toward ankle, it's all good. Steady eyes, find that drishti, that non-moving gaze. To the ground, more stable, forward or up. A little bit more challenging, maybe a little bit more uplifting or energizing. And perhaps you challenge your sense of focus or balance by lifting your arms, swaying side to side, or taking an open arm twist to your right, right hand back, left arm forward. If you twisted, back to center, breathe in. Exhale, hands to your heart if they're lifted. 
Inhale, right knee forward like you're taking a step. One-legged Tadasana. Exhale, warrior three. Right foot back. Chest reaches forward. Find that moment to create stability. That might be bending your bottom leg, pressing through your right heel, engaging your glutes, your core. All those little moments of focus, moments of concentration will link up to create a longer, steady concentration that becomes meditation. This presence, this mindfulness, this awareness. If you want a different variation with your arms, they can reach back, they can reach wide, they can reach forward. You've got a few more rounds of breath. Feel whatever is happening, good, bad, or otherwise. One more inhale. Exhale, big step back to warrior two. Open it up. And then give yourself permission to come in and out of it if you want to straighten and rebend into your left knee. Take some time to settle. Feel the shape. Notice how things may have shifted for you mentally, energetically. Your awareness, your focus. Keep your legs the same. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach it up and back. We're going to exhale to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana. And you can take your time where you can launch it up. Left fingertips to the ground, a block, your water bottle, they hover. Right arm to the sky, right hip gently peels open. Same thing with the gaze here. For me, a little bit more stable to look down, a little bit more challenging, but energizing to look sideways or up. And I think about energetically reaching in all directions, down, up, forward, back. My focus is on expansion, even if I fall out. One more big inhale. Exhale, standing splits, hands down, right leg up. Take a breath in here. Exhale, little curtsy, right knee to left calf. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, cross your right ankle behind your left. And that might mean that you bend your knees a lot. Nod your head, yes, breathe in. Shake your head, no, breathe it out. Walk your hands to your left, your hips a little right. You can bend your left knee, both knees a lot. And then to the other side, hands right, hips left. Come back to center. Weight into your front foot, your top foot, left foot, fingers forward, right leg reaches up. Back to that same standing splits, breathe in. Curtsy squat once more, right knee to left calf. This time you're gonna sit all the way down. So your shin comes down and your bottom comes down. And if that was funky, just find your way to a seat, no worries. Left knee up. Right leg is bent if that's comfortable for you or you can extend your right leg in front of you to root down through your sit bones. Left hand behind you, reach your right arm high, breathe in. Exhale, little twist to your left. Tall spine as you inhale, deeper twist as you exhale. Notice where your focus is. I like to imagine reaching down with my tailbone into the earth, reaching up through the crown of my head. So I'm rotating around my spinal column Ringing out that main energy channel. Unwind, counter twist to the other side, either upright or a little dip forward with your head. If you extended your right leg, bend it. You're gonna come back to standing splits, hands down, weight into your left foot, right leg to the sky. Option to stay, option to meet us in forward fold, we'll all get there eventually. Option to play with balance, hands to your ankle, your calf. Some handstand hops, plant your palms, right leg up, left leg follows. Maybe take a vinyasa flow, maybe a combo of all of those. Take your time, find your pace, the things that you need to stay steady and focused. And eventually, meet us in a forward fold. Take your time. In your forward fold, if you want a little bit of movement, you can sway side to side, pedal out your feet. Lift halfway, breathe in. Forward folds, breathe out. Stand tall, reach high, inhale. Palms together in front of your heart, exhale. Same thing, other side, inhale to chair. Exhale, open arm, twist left, left hand back, right arm forward. To center, breathe in. Take it to your right as you breathe out. 
Inhale, stand tall, arms to the sky, maybe a slight back bend. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart, weight into your right foot. Draw your left knee up as you breathe in. Open it to the left as you breathe out, steady eyes will help. Inhale, knee forward. Exhale, knee to the side. One more time, breathe in. Breathe out. Hold to your inhale and find your way to tree as you exhale. You can use your hand, you can place your foot closer to the ground, adjust however you like. Back to your concentration, your focus, your attention on your intention or on a body part or on a word that guides you. Maybe hands stay here, maybe you reach up, look up, sway, or if you twist it on the other side, this time left hand back, right arm forward. So we do things on our mats to challenge ourselves, to practice things that we want to practice in our life. Many of us are drawn to the physical practice of yoga because we sit a lot or stand a lot or are more still in our day-to-day -day lives. So this lets us embody the practice. We always want to come back to what it's all about. Back to center if you twist it, inhale. Woo, it's okay if you wobble. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart if they were up. Inhale, left leg forward, one-legged Tadasana. Exhale to warrior three, foot back, heart forward. Hug your inner thighs, pinky toe points down. You choose how high, you can always bring your hands to the ground. Hands back, hands wide, arms out in front. Make sure you're breathing. A beautiful connection, body and mind through your breath is an awesome thing to focus on. I find it really helpful off my mat when things are getting a little crazy to notice my breath, to slow it down, to reset, refocus. Let's take one more full round here. Inhale as you are. Exhale, step it back to warrior two. Open it out to the side. A moment to settle, to adjust back to the shape we've been in before. Keep your bottom half the same. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale to half moon. Right fingertips to the ground, a block or hover. Left arm to the sky. And the nice thing about our practice is it's always different, so it's always going to challenge us. And if we can learn to let go of the attachment of what it looks like or feels like or reaching for an idea of perfection, we can learn a lot from the wobbles, the shakes, the variations. And I'm telling myself that as much as I'm telling you guys. <laughs> Breathe here. One more inhale. Exhale, hands down, standing splits. Adjust as you need, breathe in. Little curtsy squat as you breathe out, left knee to right calf. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, crossed ankle fold, left foot slides behind your right. Feel free to bend your knees, nod your head yes. Inhale, shake your head no. Exhale, release some tension out of your neck. Bend your knees as much as you like. I like to bend my right, hands right, hips a little left. and then back through center to the other side. Come back to center, two standing splits, weight into your right foot, fingertips a little bit forward, lean forward to lift your back leg, left leg to the sky, breathe in. Exhale one more time, that curtsy squat, this time you're gonna sit all the way down. Left shin comes toward the ground, your bottom sits inside your foot. Find your way into a seat, right knee up, left leg bent or left leg straight. Right hand behind you. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, twist to your right. You can hook your elbow, you can always hug your knee. Notice how your energy feels. Not just whether you feel tired or energized, but where you feel sensation, maybe tingly or pulsing through your body. And where you can send attention or focus your energy to those places that need it. Gently unwind, counter twist in the opposite direction, upright or a little dive forward. And then if your left knee is straight, rebend it. Back to standing splits. Weight forward onto your right foot, left leg to the sky. Same options as last time. Stay, balance, hands to ankle, calf, handstand, plant your palms, left leg up. 
back to a simple forward fold, we will all meet you there or move through a variation of your choice, vinyasa, some fancy stuff, whatever fancy means to you. Try to flow with your breath and try to notice your focus in whatever you're doing. Back to forward fold if you're not yet there. Lift halfway, breathe in. Folds, breathe out. Rise to standing, sweep your arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale, palms together in front of your heart. And back to chair, theme of the day maybe. Figure four, exhale, hands to your heart, right ankle on top of your left thigh. So a figure four chair, like you're sitting in a chair with your ankle crossed. And you can absolutely stay here, hips back. Flex your toes, feel the stretch. This might be already tricky on your balance. Steady your gaze, something that's not moving in front of you to the ground to feel more stable. Up to be a little bit more challenging. If you wanna get crazy, you can take this to a twist. Left hand back, right arm forward. So challenging that sense of focus to build the concentration, to build the muscle memory of coming back to your breath, of being stable in your mind in your emotions, maybe even in your physical body when things get a little crazy. If you twisted back to center, we'll all take one legged Tadasana, right knee high. Exhale to warrior three, foot back, heart forward. Open your arms wide, take a big breath in. Right away to half moon as you exhale, left fingertips down, right arm to the sky. Flex your back toes, energize through your back heel. Notice where your gaze is where your energy is, your focus. Breathe here. Inhale. Exhale, step it back to warrior two. Inhale, reverse triangle, left leg straight, reach it up and back. Exhale to triangle pose, stretch forward, and then left hand down, right arm to the sky. Feel a long line of energy through your spine, space through the sides of your waist. So rather than worrying about how low your hand goes, mine is like right below my knee. It could also be in your thigh. It might touch the ground. Think more about the lift, the length, the spaciousness in this space. We're gonna take reverse warrior, bend your knee, stretch it up and back. Side angle as you exhale, form to your thigh, right arm to the sky. So option to stay, extended side angle, that long line of energy. Option to find a half or full bind if you wanna get a little bit more into your shoulders. That feels like someplace you wanna go, put your attention to. Half bind right hand behind your back, you can find your left thigh. Full bind left hand inside and under to connect your hands. And we've got three more breaths, so if you wanna play, challenging your balance even more, a bound half moon, shimmy your back foot forward a couple footprints, Lean into your left foot, I press into my big toe, look down like I'm gonna kiss the ground, and my right leg floats. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Release your bind if you have it. Hands come down to the ground, take a breath in. Exhale, step forward, right foot meets your left. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, hands down, lift your heels, drop your bottom, squeeze your inner thighs, find a toe balance, hands to your heart. If this is bad on your knees, just a regular forward fold is fantastic. If you wanna challenge your balance a little bit more, close your eyes. One more inhale. Exhale, fold, hands down, hips high. Anything you like, movement, pedal out, sway side to side. One last side in your home stretch. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Stand tall, reach high, breathe in. Palms together at heart center, exhale. Inhale to chair. Figure four chair. Left ankle crosses this time, hands to your heart. Send your hips back like you're really sitting into a chair. Keep your chest space open. Hang out, or if you twist it on the other side, this time we'll go right, right hand back, left arm forward. Back to center if you twisted. One legged Tadasana, knee high, breathe in. Warrior three as you breathe out, foot back, heart forward. 
reach your arms wide, inhale, exhale to half moon, begin to pivot open. Right fingertips touch or reach toward the ground, stretch in all directions. One more inhale, exhale, big step back to warrior two. Reverse triangle, breathe in, right leg straight up and back. Exhale to triangle trikonasana, stretch forward, right hand down, left arm up. And I like to imagine there's a little wall behind me I could lean into. Again, notice where your awareness is, something that you're feeling, something that you're thinking, something off your mat. Can you bring it back to your breath, to your intention? Or to what you want your focus to be on right now. One more round of breath. Rebend into your front knee. Reverse warrior, inhale, up and back. Side angle, exhale, forearm to thigh, left arm to sky, over your head for an extended version, or half or full bind. Left arm behind your back, palm can face out of your low back, that's a beautiful option. Find your thigh, or right hand comes inside to connect your hands. And the tendency when we bind is to really dump forward. Can you keep the length of your spine, that long line of energy? If you're playing with bound half moon, a little peek down, a little step or slide forward of your back leg. Lean it forward to maybe float your back foot. One more round of breath. Release your hands to frame your front foot. Take an inhale, look forward. Exhale, step up, left foot meets your right. Halfway lift, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Tuck and curl into a little ball this time. Forehead to your knees. And you can absolutely stay here, meet us in a cobbler's pose on your bottom, a butterfly shape of, shape of your legs. Or you can come back to that toe balance, hands to heart, shoulders stack above your hips, strong core, squeeze your inner thighs together, stay, close your eyes, or begin to peel your knees open, bring the soles of your feet together to challenge your balance in a different way. And there's options from here if you want even more to think about. Stay upright, hands down, walk it forward like you're gonna rest your forehead on the ground, or hands can come palms facing up, forearms to the ground behind you, and start to lower your forehead. We'll all meet in a cobbler's pose, Baddha Konasana, butterfly shape, feet together, knees wide. Take your time to arrive if you're not yet there. Lift your heart, breathe in. Hinge forward over your legs. Minds like to wander at the end of our practice. Stay present, stay focused, stay connected. Right here, right now. Lift yourself up. Find a comfortable seated position that can be cross-legged in an easy seat, lotus, legs in front. We're gonna take a little buzzing bee breath, Brahmari, and we're gonna use a mudra, so using our hands, and this is called Shanmukhi Mudra. Feels a little complicated to set up, so I'll do my best to walk through it. Your thumbs are gonna come to your ears. Eventually you'll press them in, but keep it open for now so you can hear. Point your fingers to the, your eyelids or slightly above. Middle fingers just above your nostrils. Ring fingers at your top lip, and pinkies kind of on your chin below your bottom lip. And the idea is that you're gonna buzz or hum in your head to kind of clear the cobwebs, to clear all the other stuff that's going on, to focus, to concentrate, to reset. And we'll do three hums or buzzes, three breaths. You do them as loud or as softly as you want, no one can hear you. And you can join in with me or start whenever you like. So feel free to plug your ears, big breath in. Mm. your third or when you're ready you can release your hands eyes can stay closed or softly open just notice how you feel that practice can be activating for your throat chakra help with communication it can also help with headaches 
a change in perspective. So if you find you're having a hard time focusing in the day, it can be nice to do a little reset. Um, colleagues, friends, family might think you look a little wacky. That's okay. This is a good practice. You can go into a space that's quiet, private, and find your little moment to reset. As you're ready, you're going to extend your legs out in front. Make your way onto your back. And place your feet on the ground, your knees to the sky. Windshield wiper your knees right and left. Allow for a sense of stillness. Maybe legs hip distance, maybe you take your feet wider, knock your knees together. Notice what other shapes your body is asking for before final rest, Shavasana. A spinal twist to complete all those twisting, twist shapes we did. A back bend, an inversion, or just any other stretches. I always like a little knees to chest hug, a happy baby. We've got several minutes, so there's no rush. Take your time and try to honor where your attention is going, what your body's telling you, and focus on shapes, on movements, on stillness, practices that help those areas. Eventually, you can make your way to a final resting shape on your back, in a seat, on your belly, on your side, against a wall. Anything that lets you feel supported, lets you stay connected and focused on the present, here, now, in your experience. But also remembering that there is no right or wrong. So things come and go, thoughts, sensations, that's totally okay. Just notice how they affect you with as much non-attachment, with as much detachment as you can. If you'd like to stay as you are, please know that you can stay here as long as you like. If you do feel ready to complete your practice, bring your awareness back to your breath if it's elsewhere. And then add little movements to reawaken your physical body. You might take a full body stretch, arms above you, legs straight. And if you're not in a seat, eventually make your way to a seat. Soft gaze, eyes closed, whatever you like. Let your palms come together in front of your heart. Come back to your intention if you set when we started. Or just come back to noticing where your focus is right now, where your attention is right now, what you notice right now. Maybe there's something you can take from this practice off your mat, off of the, out of the physical realm, into everyday life, or into a specific area. Really use your yoga in all that you do. We'll lift our thumbs to our third eye between our eyebrows, connecting body, mind, and spirit. I thank you all for joining and sharing your energy. Namaste. Take your time getting up. Hope I will see you all soon and enjoy the rest of your day.